Well, my name is Ku Ipo. I've been with Kulo Ranch for 32 years now. I um, have been working at Moli'i Loko'ia or Fish Pond for the past 10 years. We have introduced oysters here with the assistance of Bruce Anderson, who's our head of Department of Health. It was his initial idea to see how oysters would grow in Moli'i and they've done fabulously. Uh, Department of Health has certified us um, for consumable oysters. They do require us to depurate our oysters and that's an additional step to ensure their purity and cleanliness. And we will place them into a, what's called a depuration or a purging tank for 48 hours under sterilized UV light so that the oysters will clear their stomach and have no algae inside of it. So uh, oysters being something that people eat raw and alive when you eat them raw, uh, it just adds a little step of insurance that we can believe in the quality and the cleanliness of the oysters that we sell. Uh, we're very, very fortunate to um, have care and, and, and stewardship of Moli'i Fish Pond. Moli'i Fish Pond is estimated to be about 800 to 1,000 years old. It uh, is about 125 acres. It has 4,000 feet of kuapa, or hand-placed rock wall. And when the Hawaiian people did this, there wasn't the vegetation you see behind me now. It was completely just rock wall placed into the proper place in the ocean to create like a corral for the horse, for the <laughs> horses, for the fish. And when the ancient Hawaiian people were first uh, visited by the Europeans, there were over 400 of these types of fish ponds throughout the islands. Presently, there's about 40 that have a hui or a uh, restoration group or, or people that help them uh, to either restore or operate their ponds. We are very fortunate that uh, in the last 800 years, Moli'i was never known to go out of production. The walls have remained intact due to the caretakers prior to us that have cared for the pond and um, the makaha or the sluice gates are still operating. So we're one of the seven or so ponds that are left that are actually a functioning uh, fish pond that had not been broken in uh, production. We presently grow uh, the Pacific oyster and we also grow uh, Pacific oysters um, in the sterile form, which is called a triploid form. So in this way, we can have a quarter million oysters here, but we don't have to worry about them spawning and overpopulating the pond and perhaps overfiltrating it. So we've uh, always grown uh, sterile oysters, which are um, sold to us from Taylor Shellfish in Kona. And this is a very common practice in the present oyster industry. How the oysters really met, uh, benefit the fish pond uh, since the introduction of the to'au and a little bit of that overbloom of algae is each mature oyster can filter anywhere from 30 to some of the big ones, 50 gallons of water a day. So in that, it is reducing the overbloom of algae by it being consumed and then turned into the flesh that we get to eat and enjoy.